Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Brewer, one of the dermatologic surgeons in the Department of Dermatology at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota, talking to you about a publication in the Mayo Clinic's Proceedings, August 2011, entitled Increased Metastasis of Malignant Fibrous Histiocytoma in Patients with Chronic Lymphocyte Leukemia and Non-Hodgkin's Lymphoma. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma are lymphoproliferative disorders that affect the bone marrow. We've found over the last few years that there's an increased tendency of secondary malignancy in the setting of lymphoma. Some theories on why that is include an innate immunosuppression that accompanies the lymphoma with decreased tumor surveillance um, or a shared genetic tendency or possibly even carcinogenesis from the chemotherapy used to treat these lymphomas. We found that not only is there an increased tendency for secondary malignancy, but there's an increased chance of an aggressive behavior of the secondary malignancy in patients with lymphoma, including basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, melanoma, and Merkel cell carcinoma. Malignant fibrous histiocytoma, otherwise known as a pleomorphic soft tissue sarcoma, represents 25% of all soft tissue sarcomas and usually affects the extremities or retroperitoneum. Malignant fibrous histiocytoma can have an aggressive, behavi uh, aggressive behavior, especially if it involves deep structures like the bone or muscles. Our goal in this study was to determine the behavior of malignant fibrous histiocytoma in patients who had a prior history of lymphoma, looking at 15 cases compared to 45 matched controls. We found that the recurrence rate in cases and controls was 27 and 29 percent, which was not statistically uh, different and seem to be right around what has been previously reported in the literature of a recurrence rate of anywhere from 26 to 28 percent. We did find that the metastatic rate in patients who had a prior history of lymphoma was 40 percent compared to a 13 percent meta metastatic rate in controls. That was statistically significant and did seem to be much higher than what has been reported in the literature of a metastatic rate of anywhere from 15 to 34 percent. Our next question was, since these patients now have an increased tendency for metastasis, are they more likely to die from metastatic malignant fibrous histiocytoma? And due to the small sample size, we were not able to answer that question. And in this um, preliminary study, the overall survival was no different. The take-home message, however, from this study would be that patients who have lymphoma have a higher chance of secondary malignancy and may have worse prognosis of certain forms of secondary malignancy. What you can tell your patients would be that if a new growth is found on the skin or if there are new symptoms found on review of systems, it may be warranted to investigate that earlier. Uh, and perhaps if we can find the growth of secondary uh, malignancies earlier, prompt uh, treatment may uh, decrease the chances of aggressive behavior in these, in these patients and, and potentially affect their outcomes. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.